Hi guys, Tim here from Getting Epic, and today I'm answering another one of your questions. Did you get a catheter during the gastric sleeve surgery? As a disclaimer, I am not a doctor and I have no medical training. Everything that I'm saying in these videos are from my life experiences and learnings. Want to help support my channel for free? You can do this by clicking the big red button below this video. Also, if you're liking the content, smash the like button. YouTube loves that and they'll show my video to more people. Today's question was asked by Patrick L. Did you get a catheter during the gastric sleeve surgery? This could be a deciding factor. Anything you could say could help. <laughs> oh man, I totally understand where you're coming from, Patrick. I too wanted to know this before my surgery. Actually, this might have been my first question I asked my surgeon, who was female by the way, which was a little uncomfortable at first. But her answer was nope. If I had gotten the gastric bypass, then that might be a different story. I probably would have needed one, she said, because the surgery is so much longer. The VSG surgery, roughly 30 to 45 minutes on average. So that's great. I have had a catheter in the past during my open heart surgery two years ago. Honestly, it wasn't too bad. I didn't feel a thing because they put me asleep first. Thank God. When I woke up, it felt really funny. I was on so many drugs that I didn't really know. When I got off the drugs, it was really hard for me to piss. It burned hardcore, like I had my first UTI, if that's a thing for us guys. They tried moving it around, but nope, nothing felt good. So they ended up removing it. And that wasn't fun either. They just yanked it out and I don't know, it, a feeling I've never felt before. Let's just say that. But it went away very fast, trust me. Like I mentioned in my pre-up, what's in my bag video, I had to pee in a urinal so they could measure my piss. It was really tough getting up from open heart surgery to do so. But with the help of nurses, I was able to do it. The worst part about having open heart surgery was I couldn't reach around to wipe my own ass. So that's a completely different story, but I'm not gonna go there because we're talking about the gastric sleeve and not open heart surgery. TMI, I'm so sorry. If you're liking this content, smash the like button if you haven't already. This will help others find my content so we can start building this amazing community of like-minded weight loss surgery friends. Because they say during this journey, you lose a lot of your good friends. So this is a great time to meet new friends. Here's what I was told if I were to ever go down the route of gastric bypass instead of the sleeve. The gastric bypass surgery, patients can expect to stay in the hospital for two nights, during which the hospital staff make every effort to keep patients comfortable and safe. After your surgery, when you wake up, you may have a drain attached to your gown. This drain is to help remove excess fluid from the surgery. The drain is usually removed before you leave the hospital. You may also have a urinary catheter in place. In most circumstances, the catheter in your bladder will be removed within 24 hours following your surgery. My open heart surgery, I had it in for about the same amount of time from what I can remember. I was on a lot of drugs. So thank God I couldn't really remember that. Your diet will be NPO, nothing by the mouth. Ice chips will be restricted to one cup every eight hours. Additionally, nutrition and fluids may be given to you via the IV until proper testing can be determined from your surgical progression team. My mouth was so dry after the vertical sleeve gastrectomy, I did not get the bypass. Since I didn't get the bypass, my mouth was still really dry after surgery, and all I wanted to do was drink water, but nope, they wouldn't let me. Instead, they gave me this sponge on a stick that I would push into a cup of cold water and pat around my mouth so it stays hydrated. It worked a little bit, but it still really sucked. I hope this answers your question, Patrick. If you have any others, please feel free to reach out. Be sure to watch my do's and don'ts post vertical sleeve weight loss surgery. If you wanna learn more about my journey, click here. And if you wanna see another question answered, click down here. This is your life. What are you doing with it? Let's get off the couch together and start moving today. All right, bye everyone.